FYI, I've been playing a lot of Tiny Rogues recently. It's hard and there's a learning curve with all the updates. It does look tough, yeah. Well, let's get into talking about that right now. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Tiny Rogues. Between Heaven and Hell, this is the latest update. I want to call it an expansion, but if you look down here in the bottom right, you can see this game is still very much in early access development. Version 0.2. However, this does introduce a lot of new stuff. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. As you can see, we're already pretty far into a uh, save file here. And some stuff has changed on this screen. Actually, when I booted up the game the first time, it uh, gave me a few achievements and it told me that I had reached a world level of three. World tier, here we go. The bonfire urges you to delve into the eerie depths beyond death and confront the lurking tyrant that dwells within these forgotten shadows. Defeat the guardian of the shadow planes which unlocks ethereal shops and enables unlocking new classes. So in order to get to this point, I had to defeat death with five different classes. And now we must simply defeat the Shadow Plains Guardian a single time in order to get to the next world tier. Two more left, apparently. There's also this. Ooh, yeah, wow, this is brand new, holy cow. I haven't seen this at all. Skill tree? Or upgrade tree? You're revived from death once per run? Wait, didn't we have that? Did we just lose a lot of our upgrades here? We just gotta get them again? It's a sphere grid, it really is, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty great. Okay, well, seems pretty critical, obviously, to uh, get the revive here. We have 30 points to spend, too. Good lord. I gotta redo this sphere grid. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at uh, what the end of these look like here. Reduces alignment requirements to enter final floors by one. I have no idea what that means. Specs, GG. Floors 1 to 10 are guaranteed to contain at least one secret room each. Fun. Plus one free... I don't really get the secret rooms there very often from what I remember, but maybe I can do better about that. Curse is 50% less likely to seal a trait in trait selection. All right, this is a lot of uh, learning we're going to have to do pretty early on here. I want to just sort of willy-nilly throw points around, and yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't really want to read all this shit before I get to play today, so I'm just going to literally click random stuff. And we'll figure out what the heck I got later. Yeah, I, don't, I, I really don't want to read all this right now. Sorry, I'm sure I'm playing suboptimally as a result, but I want to play the game. Okay, and then, oh, is that it? There we go. Okay, apparently we can go this way. Uh, start with one experience, sure, whatever, and then whatever that is, and then boom, boom. And yeah, cool. Right, got the revive. Yeah, exactly. That seems like easily the most important element. All right, whatever that does. Cool. Send it. And let's see. There was one other thing, I think. As far as new stuff. Oh, that's right. I can hit tab. And then we got these dudes. Chaos. A being born from the heart of disorder. In their wake, reality shifts, weaving the unpredictable forces of the universe into an arsenal as random as fate itself. Cool. Samurai, a masterless samurai wandering the lands, seeking redemption and a new purpose with every slash of their blade. Your weapon attacks inflict a stack of retribution. That sounds fun. And child? Esper. Abducted for their psychic talents, this child escaped using newfound powers to navigate a perilous journey trying to find its way back to its family. Trade selections sometimes contain psychic ability traits. Cool. Welcome. Coffee, fingies. Thank you for the 38 months. Welcome on back in. I love this game, but I feel like 80% of this update is 6,000% more words. So far, yeah, that's certainly the case. Thank you for the bear hugs for him, too. Welcome on back into the pile. I think I'm going to play as the kid. Let's give it a shot. And now we're back. Let's go. Tiny Rose. The Fairy Forest. Welcome, young traveler. I'm here to help you get going on your journey. 
Oh, we're, we're getting tutorialized? Okay. That's interesting. You can dash. Use your bombs. Thanks for the bombs, buddy. There you go. Oh, is this bear my friend? I just thought he was for this training room. Cool. To defeat stronger foes, you'll have to arm yourself. Pick up items, open your inventory, drag and drop, right click. Teddy Companion! Teddy bears attack two times per second, dealing 120 to 256 striking melee damage. Each teddy bear grants 25% increased non-weapon damage. Cool! Now I know more about your character's current status. Press C. And time for a real battle. All right, here we go. That was easy. Now bear with me for a moment. <laughs> On your journey, you'll find food. I got, I, I got it, I got it. Yeah, no. I, I know this stuff. I already know all this. Why do I gotta watch it? I already know. All right, there we go. And die. Bear seems very strong, by the way. Very strong, sorry. I think we're back. Cool. Oh, baby. Yeah, already. Very happy to be playing this game again. Let's see. I already got two bombs. Only got 10 gold. I got two potions. Also, I need to move my face a little bit more. I just realized so I'm not blocking the experience bar. Huh. Let's go to the tavern. Just check it out real quick. You can get beer, wine, and rum. He's increased his selection a little bit. Fun. I'm the real Santa. Can you believe it? Mind helping Santa out? I'll sell you a gift box. In quotes. Sorry I depressed you, Santa. Right, okay. They need to be impressed. I'm just remembering all these different interactions here. Didn't you... Oh, right, yeah, you can buy dice from this guy. Oh, this also gives you a... A lawful... Point? Got like a morale system going on now? Or a uh, morality system, rather? All right. Reward choices include at least one charm. Reward choices include at least one pair of boots. Let's get that, yeah. Lost in my woods, eh? I'll show you no mercy. I have not fought Goblin King yet, so this will be fun. All right, Goblin King died. Fun fight. Annoying critter. Don't worry, I'll squash you eventually. All right, yeah, phase two. Dude, Bear is kind of crushing it. Like, he just... This is passive damage. Boss defeated. Let's go. This is fun. God damn, dude. Up the presentation value, huh? Uh, charm the nearest enemy on dash. Grants 25% increased stamina recovery time. That's pretty good. Got some armor out of the eggshell. Plus one mana. Huh. That seems pretty good. Got some good options here. I want to get the energy charm. This is an uncommon helmet. Breaks when damaged. Oh, never mind. What does attunement mean? Oh, yeah, there's the morality thing. Morality and integrity. Oh, shit. I honestly am not sure I know the difference. Um, Let's see. Where is that attunement feature? I haven't seen it anywhere. And there are a lot of numbers, dude. This is wild. All right, anyway. I think I'll grab the wizard hat. Seems best. <laughs> uh, 
That's pretty good. Back to the bangers, baby. Ah, uh, let's go with some gold, yeah. Seems like a good idea. Man, Bear is nutty. He's doing like the majority of the work. Cursed candy. Okay. It's probably still good. Yeah, without Bear, this would be a lot slower here. What's going on? It's easy to be cursed. Curse can have a variety of negative effects and is basically the opposite of luck. The more stacks of curse you have, the more cursed your existence will feel. Checks out. Curse also grants cursed hit chance. Cursed hits roll twice for critical hits and have to succeed to roll twice to crit. Additionally, curse can also downgrade room rewards, spawn invading reapers, increase shop prices, and much more. Okay. Sounds kind of bad. Although also kind of good. Mana potion. Nice. Let's see. A key is probably a good idea. Gonna need those. Yeah, I'm missing like a majority of my shots too, which I guess is not too shocking given how long it's been. Executioner sword. Eh, ain't gonna work very well. Made costume. Periodically charms all enemies in the room every 10 seconds. Ooh, there's a set. Charming an enemy also inflicts vulnerability. If I can find the cat ears. That's pretty great. Ah, oh, this reduces companion damage. Yeah, no thanks. Once per room on spending souls grants 10 to 20 gold. Eh, I think I'll go for the maid's outfit. Sounds great. And then we got to go ahead and throw that guy on there. 20% increased non-weapon damage. I wonder if that's affecting the teddy bear. Kind of seems like it might. Where could it lead? Oh, I gotta be a wizard. Investigate the statue of a wizard. There's something hidden in the crevice. A sorcerer ring that grants plus five intelligence. Let's go. That's pretty good. It's gonna replace our amethyst ring, but I think that's all right. Do we need an offhand? Yeah, we do, right? Let's go get one. Who dares to enter my lair? Bars. Lich time. With a blue health bar. I'm not really sure what that means. Apparently nothing. Oh, these are just too short, aren't they? But Bear's still got the job covered. Get him. Come on. God dang it. Bear got distracted. I might have underestimated you a little bit. Good for you. Thanks. Been working on... My... Shoosting. Oh, because I'm going to need it. Oh, fucking hell. Wow. I think I've dodged two attacks already so far, just by virtue of pure luck, I think. Okay, I think we've got a safe spot right here as well. Nice. Oh, god damn it. Same exact thing from last time. Go, bear. There we go. Hell yeah. critique this a little bit as fun and flashy as it is it does slow down this process quite a bit more but now that i see that it is a moment of like possible reveal of like oh and here's a gold item that's that's, that's neat i like it 50 percent increased effect of vulnerability fragility and instability okay i'd have to replace my maid's outfit now it's an offhand maybe rare gloves Plus 25% crushing hit chance with striking damage. I don't think that's for me. I'll grab this guy. At least I gotta see what they do, but good enough. 
Okay, that's immediately in the offhand. Good stuff. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. That was a banger. Gotta go for the intelligence. Dead Cell style. Gotta keep boosting the primary stat. Oh, that's the charm, isn't it? That's what that is. Okay. And now they're going after each other, I think, with that? Which is cool. Although that is gonna mess with my prioritization a little. There we go. Did take a hit that time, unfortunately. I think I'll go for an uncommon weapon. I feel like we're still rocking the very basic thing here. Trash Frostbite Staff. Oh, no. I mean, this does still seem like it's going to be way better, but... Chilling Falchion? Plus 20 to 30 cold damage. I mean, this does a ton of damage still. Even if it is trash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the right play for us, dude. Oh, wait a minute. Can I... Oh, right, because if it's a two-hand, we don't have the Straw Talisman anymore, anymore, but... Oh, that's fun. Okay. Nice. Ooh, yeah, that is... Seems far from trash to me, dude. That seems pretty good. Equip the ring, too. I think we only have the one ring slot to rule them all. Yeah, I can only do this or the other one. Sell weapons and equipment? Or another key? We could sell a couple things. Hey, buddy. All oh, right, yeah, I just gotta put it on there. Um, We go like this and then like that, right? I don't know if I wanna sell that actually though, hold on. A patient gown, not the best. How about four gold for it? Sounds good. Ooh, fish and chips, fun. Oh boy, yeah, this is a uh, hefty upgrade, dude. That's what I'm talking about. All right, our first level. Four choices. Oh boy. Grants two assault rifle companions. I'm, I'm having a real tough time not just instantly clicking that. <laughs> Each assault rifle grants plus 15% lethal hit chance. Mama's stuff grants three kitchen knife orbitals that deal thrusting damage and inflict bleed. A little Isaac nod. On picking up a mana star, three meteors drop from the sky on random enemies, each dealing immense fire damage. Oh my god. On the tally of five attacks with a magic weapon, repeat the attack. Hmm. That's pretty good. These are both pretty good. Kind of like an apocalypse. That sounds like fun. I'm gonna get my mana stars. Random resin. I do like resin. Mana stars drop from kills, or do they just drop randomly? Hey, Sofa. I remember. It's been a while. Gold Pine Resin that infuses the weapon with lightning for 10 rooms. Pretty good. I'll go for a treasure rock, yeah. I got the bombs for it. There's the... Oh, baby, there's the Mana Star and there's the Meteor Shower. That's fun. Safe bet. Cool. Guaranteed rare item. Neat. Oh, yeah, we've seen this, dude. He ain't nothing new. He's pretty easy, in fact. I don't know, especially after we do that. <laughs> Holy shit. That was effective. And this is, of course, where he deals damage to me after I call him easy. There we go. Ooh, hitting pretty hard here. I'm gonna get this mana star real quick. There we go. Oh my goodness. Wow, apocalypse. Doing work. That's fun. Okay. Got a guaranteed rare here. I think I've seen that belt before. Are these the cat ears? 
No. Garnet Bracelet. Each point of strength additionally grants 2.5% increased top end damage. I guess that's not really great for us, is it? Uh, my accessory right now is giving me intelligence. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. 20% increased companion attack speed. Ooh. Yeah, dude. That is really good for us right now. All right. Oh, he did get me with poison? You're right. Yeah, I lost HP, didn't I? Ooh, new banger. And a lollipop. Good news. Quite a bit tankier in here. We'll make do. Oh boy. There's gold rings on these guys, I wonder. Did the blue HP bars like recharge or something? Maybe they just haven't had an opportunity to do it yet. There we go. Gold chest, that's a mimic, but I think I'll take it. Mimics are pretty great. Ice skates and a chilling sapphire wand. Ooh, fun. Ice skates will uh, deal cold damage. Oh, cold damage grants swiftness. 20% increased movement speed. Cool. That'll work. Go ahead and equip this sapphire wand. That gives us our offhand back, which isn't really going to matter right now, but... You know what? I'll do a cursed treasure rock too. Yeah, let's be cursed. Okay, got a much shorter range on this attack now, but it is dealing significantly more damage. Just gotta be aware we're gonna have to close the gap a little bit. Come here, buddy. Oh, nice. There you go. Couple of the keys. More intelligence. Oh, aren't the... Oh, no, the sewers aren't anything, right? How, how do you find the secret rooms again? Isn't there, like, a visual tell for that? I feel like it's on the wall or something. What are those things? They just explode? Oh, my God. What am I doing? I didn't realize that was something they could do. Holy shit. I'm going to need to find some HP, dude. Ooh. That's not going to help, is it? Eh, it might help a little bit. I got enough money, I think, too. Let's see. That would be to repair armor. Let's go ahead and upgrade. And upgrade again. Cool. I think I could go tavern. What do you got going on, buddy? Got some souls? I exchange souls for golds. Yeah, I do have souls. Here you go. I'll take a little bit more cash, please. And then you likely will be a little more impressed. That's quite rare. I have faith in you. Take this little token of gratitude. Cool. Sadly, not a melee weapon, so... Not really going to do much for me. Would you like to stay for the night? Uh, no thanks. I guess we're done here. Maybe I could get some HP from one of these. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Increased attack speed and tipsiness. 20% increased damage over time. Adds one. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. You got HP flasks to drink now? Oh, these things? How do you use those? Maybe put them in the... Yeah, I saw this, but I don't really have any idea how to interact with it. I mean, there's a... Oh, it's a V? But I need an empty heart container before I can restore HP, right? So I... Oh, my God. Is that a Reaper? I think that's from the curse. That's cool. Oh, boy. Holy shit. Oh, I got revived. Yeah, that was a death. That was pretty dumb. Oh, boy, yeah, that was bad. All right. Fair enough. 
getting back into it. I like that character. Fun to use the bear. Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, that works. Um, let's give the samurai a try. Your weapon attack inflicts a stack of retribution. attack pattern, huh? Not one of my favorites, but he is already clearly quite a bit stronger. That's fun. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Grab the key. Yeah, I gotta get a different weapon here, dude. I hate this attack pattern so much. Oh, man. Speaking of Isaac, it's like uh, it's like using Tiny Planet. You get used to it after a little bit, but certainly would prefer a different approach. I'm not 100 sure what the uh, what the retribution does either. I'm assuming it just makes them take more damage. More like my reflection, that's true. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of, I think. It's very similar to that, in fact. Oh, right, you can change the range of this thing. That is pretty nice, at least. I think it goes depending on your mouse position. There we go. Burp, burp, burp. Yeah, I do think that just increases the amount of damage this attack does, which is pretty cool. It's a lot nicer to have a decent amount of HP here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Wait two seconds without attacking the product retribution. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Each point of intelligence grants increased attack speed. 20% increased damage dealt to armor? Oh, it's armor. That's what that is. Okay. Um, let's go with the house slippers, since I'm currently wearing my house slippers. Oh, I have Geta. On dash, gain two stacks of haste. I think I'd rather have the HP, actually. Yeah. Especially now that I've got healing flasks. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, let's go, Dex. There's nothing wrong with getting more stats. Even if they're not the primary one. Cool. Uh, uncommon weapons? Yeah, let's do it. Poison Frost Throwing Knives. Slow Pike. Poison Swift Saber. This is probably the same attack pattern, I would guess. Should deal more damage, at least. So let's just have an offhand as well. Oh, nice. Never mind. Yeah, that's a little better. Very quickly applying stacks of poison with that, which is pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's do a treasure rock. I don't have enough money for the arcade, I don't think. Holy shit, dude. Explodey boys! Explodey boys! There we go. Ooh, crystal pine resin is real nice. I do like trying to stack those up for the end game. This real decked out for the final floor. Hell yeah. Grants two Ancestral Spirit Companions. Ancestral Spirits attack 1.5 times per second, dealing slashing melee damage. Each spirit grants 10% increased melee attack speed. 
You gain no more stats from strength, dex, or intelligence, but the penalties from exceeding your equip load capacity are reversed. That's wild. Okay. Uh, when you do a crit hit or a ruthless hit, gain berserk. I love Ancestral A. That sounds cool. Man, eh, eh. My buddies. Let's do it. Yeah, I think companions are going to be pretty goddamn powerful, dude. Let's get a pair of gloves. I don't think I have one yet. Let's do it. Well, he's new. Noisy brat, you dare to disturb my peace? These caverns shall be your tomb. Rock Golem. Ooh, he's a rolly boy. Oh, fuck. Well, they killed him. Okay, that works. Your persistence rattles my stones. I'll crush you into dust. That's fun. I love that they're just sitting there wailing on him while I just have to dodge this, too. Companions, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm poisoning him, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, the poison damage is crazy. Holy cow. And then the retribution hit. Wow. This is already really good. What if you can get killed by these things falling on your head or something? Really good choices here. Oh, it's a set helmet. Cool. Whenever you taunt an enemy, you also fear them. Two set periodically taunts all enemies in the room every eight seconds. You get a full clown outfit. While, you, while your equip load is at half or below your equip load capacity, you gain 50% increased stamina recovery speed. Laser knuckles. Unarmed attacks additionally trigger a laser projectile that deals 100 to 110 to 165 energy damage. I'm going to try that. Oh, but that's... That's plus three to unarmed intelligence scaling. Ah, man. I mean, it sounds fun, but... Can we make the boots work? Probably. Although the increased crit chance is nice. There's no equip load there. 5% increased attack speed per stamina you have left. This actually isn't going to make a huge difference, is it? What if I just took this off? I'm curious enough to try that. Because I think that is going to make a pretty big difference. It'll encourage me to do some more dashing, too. Thank you for the predictions, by the way. Appreciate running that. Always makes things fun. God damn. Really liking this build already here. Pretty damn good position. Ooh, shrine time, yeah. yeah that should be him taken care of. I like that retribution move, that's fun. There we go. Random consumable. Fortune Blessing is a shrine status effect that grants plus one luck and lasts 60 seconds. Cool. Save that for later. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Go, my ancestral spirits. Carry me to victory. Get him. There we go. 20 gold isn't really enough for the shop, I don't think. I want to save up a little bit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, their hitboxes stick around for a while after they go down, actually. Cool. And we can get a key back. Or sell some stuff. We already have two keys. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and sell that. I don't think I'm going to wear it anymore. Same with the boots. Not a ton of money, but it adds up. Cool. Uh, then we can go to the tavern, actually, yeah. Although, ooh, warrior stash. This weapon is good, but it can always get better. I think I'll be glad I took a chance here. Goodbye. 
Oh, it does cost a key too, though. Battle axe? That's probably a little bit better, yeah. Gives up the poison, but let's see. That oh, is less attacks per second as well. Hold on. I'll try it, but this may not be the best. A little slower. You love Tommy? Me too. Hold on. I don't think Tommy can set up. Let's find out. Oh, there he is. Yep. Hey, buddy. With the, the heavenly glow. As it should be. He's a good man. Let's get some bombs. Let's see how the new axe is going to go for us here. That was close. There's quite a bit more range on this thing, at least. I feel like I am missing the poison already, though. Yeah, I think we get a little bit worse there, unfortunately. Do we have a helmet? Yeah, we got the Ronin hat. Oh, right, yeah, we have increased crit chance with swords, too. Yeah, I think this sword is actually better. Let's try again. Let's see if I can get a better one here. Queen Bee! Yeah, being able to stack up that much poison immediately in the fight, too, is just pretty ridiculous. It's a max damage retribution. Sick. All right, so I need to actually proc that when I've got the 10 stacks ready. Okay. Or even just a couple, I guess, really is good, too. Okay. Now I let them do the rest of the work. Nice. Alright. This is a satisfying sequence. Ooh. Deadly needle. Oh, it's a dexterity scaling one. Plus 50% crit hit multiplier, though. Ah, oh, man. I wish. Let's see. Lucky bastard sword. Hmm. Man. I really want this, but... I don't think that's the play for him. Let me grab this, I guess. I find, I find deadly needles all over the park. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Read that aloud thinking I could maybe... Twisted into something amusing. No, that's, that just sucks. Stop leaving needles at the courts. Leave more free boards. Oh, wait. Am I the bastard sword well enough? Seems pretty solid. Increased range is really nice. These guys have a terrifying attack. I gotta keep my distance on those dudes. This is very interesting to have guys crawling along the walls here. All right, random potion dude. <laughs> Elise would love that. Like Mantra. Thank you very much for the 82 months. The prime sub bear hugs, please for him. Welcome back. I think I like this weapon well enough. Seems pretty good. Where could it lead? Hey, Eric. Boxing day going pretty well for me here. Hi, guys. The Council of Rats will now judge you. On behalf of the Order of Dexterity, we judge you as unworthy! 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 On behalf of the Order of Strength, we judge you as... Worthy! 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 On behalf of the Order of Intelligence, we judge you as an idiot! Cool. Plus three Strength Charm is pretty neat. Oh, we have four Charm slots? What the hell? Nice. Let's go for the burger. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, yeah, this is quite a bit more involved, isn't it? Nice. That was scary. Good stuff. 
Got plenty of money for a tavern. What do you got going on? The beer here is decent, but my brew is legendary. You seem like a strong lad. I'll offer you some. What do you say to a bottle of mead? Uh, 10% increased melee attack speed. Cool. Sure. And then what do you do? Ah, that's right. Illegal gun parts. Upgrades of gun or cannon by one level. This is also evil, apparently. I'll keep that between us, friend. I like to come here to drink. Yes, makes feel fuzzy. Gavin, keep a very nice man. He sure is. All right, might be done in here. Oh. A renewal. Welcome back. Whoa, what the heck, dude? Maniacal Chimera. Thank you very much for the 40 months. Black market? This is cool. Hey kid, wanna buy a cigarette? Triggers your on taking damage effects upon consumption. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Totally get you. I only smoke for the social aspect of it. Anyway, take it easy, kid. Cough, cough. Summons a Polter Sword Companion. Polter Sword attacks two times per second. Each Polter Sword grants 15% increased in attack speed with swords. Cool. Steal of a deal. Nice. I guess I just have to have that in my inventory. That's pretty neat. Legendary Tommy guns, hell yeah. There's the sniper rifle again. Ah, and dispels one stack of curse, cool. Grants stamina surge on consumption. And some bombs. I'll take those, yeah. This song, man, huh? Welcome to the underground pawn shop. Got any equipment or weapons you're looking to get rid of? I sure do. Go ahead and add this katana. He might actually offer more money than the other dude. Um, I don't know if I want to sell this. I'll sell the axe. Yeah, 13 is pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and slot that into the other open option there. Do I want to buy a potion? Rainbow in a bottle summons a gnome companion. Fun! All right. All kinds of buddies. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. You can have both. I wonder if you can have the bee companion, too. And the leech? Maybe you can only have three at a time. Hmm. All right, anyway. Moving on. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's the... Uh, Attack I was talking about earlier. Man, we got a lot of damage now. That is nice. King's Crown. 30% increased companion damage, but reduces your weapon damage by 15%. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it, dude. Absolutely. Looking good. Let the companions carry. Although it does feel like it made things worse. Eh, maybe give him a little more time. Hell yeah. Double increase stats from strength, but gain no stats from dex or intelligence. On dash, gain full stacks of tailwind and trigger your own combat start effects. Natural damage rolls from you always roll minimum damage but you can have plus one maximum companion. Hmm. Yeah. Companion build. And then get the gnome. Let's go. Cool. Okay, we need some armor too. Oh, right. My whole uh, gear capacity thing. I forgot about that. But if the armor is good enough, I think I'll just disregard that anyway. Who are you? You don't belong here. Shambling Mound. We've dealt with shamblers before. Companions doing work, dude. It does keep us safe as well. We cannot let you leave. 
Got another dodge there. That was pretty convenient. Oh, he is melting. That is nice. The boss defeated. Let's go. What do we get? On completing an encounter room without taking damage, you're granted one to five gold. Yep. I'm going to look at the other stuff. <laughs> That's pretty good. And now we need new boots because these aren't currently doing anything anymore. Oh, I could just take this off, couldn't I? Would that decrease my weapon load? No, it doesn't. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter either. I'm not switching my weapon. You can do that quickly, can't you? All oh, right. Yeah, I forgot one does that. Hold on. I need to get my... um. I need to get that guy back. And then... What's the button to switch between your uh, equipped weapons quickly? There's a button for that, right? I got a slot for a random pot. Right click, thank you. Yeah, that's nice. I'm still thinking this short sword might actually be the best option we've got right now. Right, and one through eight does the inventory stuff, yeah, thank you. Holy shit, dude. Although this one is a lot safer, I guess. Situations like this is probably better. Cool. Three intelligence. Oh, I don't have any keys. Whoopsie. All right. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a really safe build, which is obviously ideal given our uh, gold armor now. Huh. Let's just go get some more loot, I guess. I'm gonna be loaded, dude. I gotta find a place to spend this cash. I got new money, and it's all cash. I got new bags. Leader hosen. That's a heck of a set, dude. Shoot a beer mortar at the target on a non-triggered lucky hit. That's kind of fun. I do like my gold armor, though. Takes more strength. All right. I don't really need the bombs. Do still get some kind of benefit out of this, at least. Holy shit, how are they still chasing me like that? What are those projectiles? That was crazy. There's a shop, finally. Ooh. Permanently grants 10 to 40 fire damage. Yo, holy shit. These are good. 20 to 30 poison damage. 15 to 35 cold damage. Didn't we have something that procs off cold damage, or was that last run? I think that might have been last run. Well, clearly get one of these and then let's go with the green spice I feel like I should get the most expensive one if I can cool I did kind of want to get a key there but okay yeah these projectiles are nasty gotta be more careful with them all right do have the crown already uh an offhand could be an option I guess the cycle of life and death continues. Get him. Get some poison stacks. Let the DOT do its work. Somehow he nearly died before the invincibility phase there. Prophecy foretold that I shall be victorious. Want the max poison if I can. There we go. I don't think I actually need to worry about the uh, statue things. There we 
yo, nice. You got the bonus gold from that too, hell yeah, dude. That went pretty well. Door shield. Adds block and two armor, wow. Interesting. Rainbow talisman, 20% increased. Elemental damage. Increased damage dealt to enchanted enemies. I feel like this has got to be... Got to be the play. We can... Uh, do this for a little bit. See if this is a good way to do things now. Oh, baby. Dude, these new songs are going hard. I love it. Fair dance. Feeling good. Add one tipsiness? Why not? Yum, yum, yum. Oh, yeah. I think we're, uh... We're gonna keep rocking this weapon now. Feeling pretty good. More gold, another level up. Nice. Each point of strength additionally grants 5% crit hit multiplier. That'd be 110%. Ooh, two-handed melee weapons count as one-handed items and allow for wearing an offhand. Cool. I mean, guaranteed crit, though. That's crazy. Go from 6% to 110. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking Titan Grip too, but I like guaranteed crits. It's not crit chance, it's crit damage. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, that was clearly a mistake then. Oh, well. You sure? Where's the level ups? There they are. Yeah, you're right. No, 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 wait. The damage from critical hits is multiplied with the critical hit multiplier. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, there's the crit hit chance and the crit hit multiplier. 300% damage from crits is pretty good, though. And that will make a difference. Didn't get something that procs on crit hits, though. Did I? Was that last round, too? Another crystal pine resin, nice. Um, I don't think so. I still have these boots that are not really doing me any good either. Oh boy. I'm trying to avoid swapping the weapon here. I want to keep my armor, but the range isn't quite cutting it right now. I'll try the event, sure. You can take one tome. One tome only. Ah. Replaces a trait with tets Testudo. Reduce globally... Or sorry. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. I have no idea what that means still. Two spinning blade orbitals that deal slashing damage and inflict bleed. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, my inventory. The underling! Thank you very much. For the resubscription, welcome on back into the bear pile, bear hugs forum. I'll just go ahead and use that. Okay, so we can remove barbarism, I guess. I'll just pretend that's why I picked it. So I could then remove it later. Let's upgrade our weapons. Nice. And also repair our armor here. Thank you. Do need keys. Ooh, the attack speed. Pretty significant upgrade there. Cool, okay. Could use another charm. Let's do it. 
Holy shit! That, that's a phenomenal boss. Uh, that's a phenomenal boss, dude. That is top tier. I'm gonna say his name is Book Boy. Defend library, protect knowledge. Book Golem, yeah, that makes more sense, I guess. Just a bunch of fucking books and he fires book projectiles. Of course he does. Okay, that was my one block. Holy shit. Wow. Go, companions. Knowledge is power. Intruder must not escape. Holy shit. Hey. Well, this is going well. See you later, buddy. Bye-bye. Boss defeated. Let me see the golden charms. What you got? 5% increased movement speed. Undashed charm the nearest enemy. 100% increased orbital speed while standing still. Huh. My ring currently gives me plus one heart. That's kind of neat. Orbital hits, or orbitals deal guaranteed lucky hits. Huh. Okay. Sounds cool. Get rid of this thing. And let's go. Moving on. Ah, the icy cavern. Oh, I already like this one a lot. Oh man, yeah, that's OST, dude. Continuing to provide the bangers. Holy shit, this is a scary room, though. It's a lot of projectiles, man. Go, my little companions. Ah, what hit me, shit. Didn't even see it. Uh, Cursed Alchemy Stash actually seems like it might be worth it. Let's do it. I'm gonna swap to my Bastard Sword again. I think I just need the extra range right now, even though it sacrifices HP. I gotta hit from a little further. There we go. Anger Potion on Consumption. Potion buff that increases attack speed. Uh, I'll go ahead and use that. Grab this. Use that. Grab this. Cool. And a burger. Yum, yum, yum. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah, you gotta stick with the bastard sword for a bit here. I couldn't even see my mouse for a second there. That was... The screen is getting a little busy, dude. Hey, same to you, Matt. Uh, this is a mimic. I'll give this a shot. Nice. Holy shit. Here we go. Um, I'll, I'll save the Inferno Potion. I wonder if these power pots are stacking. That'd be pretty sick. I guess I don't need the Ronin hat anymore. I'm gonna keep this. Um, Do that, I guess. Yeah, that works. Oh, nice. We got a lot of pots for later, dude. Oh my god, that was weird. Nope, not good. Not good. There are so many projectiles in these rooms, dude. It is crazy. Including my own and the orbitals and my companions. It is a lot to keep track of. Yeah, the music really is going pretty hard. I love it. Let's see if I get another uh, underground shop here. I don't like that time, that's okay. Do you have a special potion or something? Oh, you have a power potion, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. He's doing the he's doing the potion bit. Uh Storm in a bottle is also quite good. I don't have 50 gold though. Also has chaotic, which is kinda weird. Can I sell anybody anything in here? 
I don't think so. Oh, enchant your weapon. Yeah. Well, hold on. Isn't it already enchanted? Take a look at it. It is lucky. I think that might change its lucky status. I'm kind of curious, though. A mortal can influence the result of enchanting. Shocking. 5 to 75 lightning damage now. Okay. I'm alright with that. Uh, let's go get some more money, I guess. Holy cow. This place is daunting, dude. I gotta remember if I stand still, my orbitals are a lot more effective too, but that's obviously gonna be a difficult thing to do a lot of the time. God damn. Oh man. At least one rare item. I don't have any gloves yet. I guess I should get some gloves. I think I'm gonna swap over to this guy again too. Although I don't know if that actually uh, matters here. I'll freeze you solid and shatter you into a million pieces. Holy shit, what the fuck? That's a crazy attack. Oh my god, that was a lucky dodge. Your feeble tricks are an insult to my kind. I've had enough. There's a lot of projectiles immediately. Holy fuck. Okay, we're gonna keep our distance. So oh boy. I'm gonna let my buddies do the work here because this is bad. Holy shit. I got another dodge there. That was lucky. God damn it. Use my revive. Ah, I hate it. This, that was a hard floor, though. I'm not gonna lie. That was very tough. Winter gloves? Frost touch gauntlets. Adds cold damage to melee attacks. Absolutely. Santa hat is fun. Gift boxes contain an additional heart. Cool. Good build. Keep going. Really hoping we can find a blacksmith soon. Get that armor back. Yeah, let's get some more money. Holy shit, what the hell? Oh no. All right, we gotta thin the herd a little here. There we go. Nice. Random resin. I wouldn't mind that. Dude, what the hell? Oh boy. They did up the difficulty on things, huh? This is... Oh, jeez. It's also a little different, or a little difficult sometimes to differentiate between the enemies and your companions. All right, we're gonna have to just go ahead and pop that one, I guess, and keep the new one. More treasure, sure. Nice. You guys down, good stuff. Cool, okay, going well. Happy Gargoyle Tail Axe. Whoa, that damage. That is a strong axe. I think I need to go ahead and take that, although that is going to be a two-hander. Right? How can you tell? Um, I think I'll just do this. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, do that, and then boom, and then boom. Oh, it's a one-hander. Nice. That's good. I think I'll try that. There's a lot of range already. It seems really good. Two-handers have it in the name. Okay. That'll work. 
Don't need the key. Oh, there's like a wind effect going on in here. What the heck? The movement was different. Nice. Your hits against bleeding enemies inflict vulnerability. Your attack speed is always your weapon's base attack speed, but modifiers to attack speed instead apply to base weapon damage. Huh. Increase stats for your companions based on how many you have. Huh. I wonder if with four, it would go down to 50? Or maybe it, it is still at 100% for four. Let's try it. Even 50 is probably worth it. Okay, and then these guys are already fully upgraded. I'll get the broccoli. Yeah. A little more decks. Cool. These guys really aren't that big of a problem, are they? He says. Almost immediately, immediately prior to getting hit. Thank you very much. Someone's a Varigoyle... Var, Varigoyle companion? Huh. Cool. More money. This build's kind of coming together here. Doing pretty good at this point. I think the companion bonus was pretty significant there, too. Oh, let's get another charm. Yeah, I like it. Whom's disciple do we have here? May the scriptures guide thee or lead thee to oblivion. The Arch Pontiff. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. That was crazy. Wow. All right, all right. Your resilience forces me to drastic measures. I shall merge the divine with the infernal. Your end is nigh. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. Oh! Oh, okay. Woo, this is fun. Who the heck is he? You gonna show up so I can hit you, or are you just gonna hide? I think he's just gonna hide. He's just hiding. Okay, okay. Oh, there he is. I didn't realize he was in that corner over there. Jesus, dude, that was crazy. Woo. Okay, got the money for it, even. Doing pretty well. Give me a charm, please. Epic offhand grants plus 30% increased radiant and dark damage. Periodically launches three fireball mortars at the nearest enemy. 100% increased duration of tailwind and swiftness. 25% increased damage dealt to dragons. Uh, okay. I guess that is kind of the best option, isn't it? A little specific, but I'll take it. Final floor, let's do it. Oh, never mind. Far from it, actually. Jeez, I thought I was at the end. Burger time. These are wildly new projectiles. That was a lucky dodge, too. Okay. Oh, boy, these guys are tanky. Holy shit. Gonna take a minute to get through them. Wow. All right, let's see here. Epic weapons? I'm pretty sure I'm happy with mine. Burgers give dexterity to who? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a fair point. I'm not. Uh, I'm not ever really feeling particularly dexterous after a big old burger. Uh, there's my block gun. This is uh, getting outrageous, as you can see. Holy shit! Yeah, this is um, much more difficult now. I got the Oktoberfest enchantment apparently as well. Oh, that might be why it was so hard. I didn't realize that dude was hanging around. Ah, uh, Dex, sure. Ow. 
God damn. They are way tankier now. Our damage is holding up at least. Nice. Your percent modifiers to movement speed also apply to attack speed. On combat start and on taking damage, perform a war cry that taunts all enemies in the room, making them take 35% more damage at close range. Huh. Oh, wow. I mean, it's a little late for that. This would be really good early, but I like war cry. It seems pretty good. Uh, I don't really have anything to sell, do I? We're good. So yeah, they're going to be taking more close range damage, but obviously we don't necessarily want to expose myself to danger. This is much higher DPS as well if I want to get the short range hit in there. In fact, yeah, actually this is going to be a much quicker way to deal with this guy, isn't it? Oh yeah, that helps a lot. Go, buddies! Getting all the stats. Holy shit, that was lucky. Probably should have taken a hit there. Nice. Okay. Go get your guy. Go get the target. He's right there. There you go, friends. Um, yeah, let's just get the Mimic real quick. Holy shit. Uh, did he just hit me? I think he did. Gi Chong? I have no idea how to say that. That's a two-hander. Vorpal Blade. Ah, oh, that's a dex weapon. Man, I don't want to try that, but... This periodically triggers your on-combat start effects every eight seconds. That's crazy. What? Oh, shit. Permataunt? Cool. Hold on. You gotta try that, dude. Oh, that seems fun. I think I'm doing it. Ooh, armor. Yeah, Permaton seems really good. Yeah, I know it takes off the shield, but I think it's worth it. Worth it for the Permaton. Permanent Permaton. It's got pretty good range, too, actually. Much better than what we had before. Although, I guess we're not really using the taunt with it, are we? Because we're not in that close range very frequently. I could fix that, though. Let's go hit the blacksmith here with our last bomb. Because we could upgrade this weapon too, yeah. Cool. Upgrade. Oops. And boom. Thank you. Alright, let's try to actually use the taunt. Oh yeah, you can tell it makes a huge difference when we're actually in range for it. That was a pretty easy little uh, room there. Nice. Thanks, game. Legendary item. Fun. In my master's stead, I am here to protect his domain. Prepare for your imminent annihilation. Get some poison going on this guy. Swap back to the porn so we can get the taunt going again. Nice. Oh, god damn. Yeah, that was bad. Yikes. That's a scary one. Cool. No one escapes my master's domain. I cannot let you live to tell the tale of his wondrous machinations. Oh, oh, he's moving. The boy is feeling it now. That was pretty slick, dude. And 
in the zone. In the zone. He's down? He's down. Oh, he's so close. Oh, no. I lost armor at the last second. Go get him, damn it. There we go. Okay. Two more. We got a legendary. Oh, baby. Cold damage inflicts burn. And burn damage dealt additionally is based on cold infliction damage. Cool. I guess we're going to go ahead and go back to the... Uh... Oh, wait. What's the cold one? Right. All, all, all melee attacks with the gloves. Holy shit. That's cool. All right. We weren't really using that anyway, so... Nice. That's pretty sick, dude. Down we go. Really want to find another blacksmith. I think I'm going to try to keep this short sword equipped for a little bit. One to two random trait tomes. That sounds fun. Apparently we get our block back. Uh, every floor is my guess. Holy shit. All right, well, there it goes. Oh my goodness. And back to the pole arm for a sec. There we go. Hey, Hyper. I sure did. Your hits with striking damage inflict instability and trigger a shockwave. I am slashing, thrusting. I do not have striking damage. During combat, periodically increment all your active tally counters by one and your periodical effects by 0.25 sec. I have no idea what this means, but I'm going to do it. Oh, this is a replacement. Huh. I guess I could get rid of the... Uh, I like the spinning blades. I don't want to remove anything. All right, whatever. New work, right, I guess. Well, I have no idea what this new thing does. I didn't realize I was going to have to replace again, though. Oh, well. I got to get this laser boy early. Just take out everything else, I guess. It works, too. Oh, what the hell? Where did that even come from? Oh, man. Whew, it is tough sledding, dude. The game is hard as hell now. What the fuck? They are tanky boys. It's nice when they do that, at least, but... Holy shit. Man, they could take a beating. Okay. I guess I could do this and then use one of my flasks. That's probably better than the... Gold at this point. Focus on one at a time if we can. Yeah, one laser boy is not so bad, but dealing with two at a time is a pain in the butt. There we go. Three ambrosia. Plus one the highest attribute. Yeah, dude. That's sick. You can stack, burn, and bleed up to 10 stacks, but they deal less damage. Slashing damage from you and your companions inflicts a stack of rupture. Yep. That's the one. Oh, I can't go that way, damn. Um, I hit B. Oh, you got to hold it down. Okay, cool. I see. What the heck? Okay, and then get you. Very nice. Oh my god, that was close. 
Good, good, good. Uh, big soul. Sure. Sounds like fun. We need those after all. Nice. And one last burger, right? Yeah. There we go. Oh, God. Is that a triple skull? It is. Jesus. What the fuck, dude? I almost want to use a flask! No! I hate it. I hate that. I hate that that happened because I had the health potion and that's the last thing I want to do is not use the health potion I could have used. I didn't want to be to die. I wouldn't have died. Ah. Crap. Maybe I should look at what I've got going on here. No, I still don't want to. I really just don't at all. That's an offline thing, if anything. Um, try chaos, I guess. I, okay. I don't know about random. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I want to do a chaos run. Um, let's do. I haven't gotten a win with the gunslinger yet, and we got to do a dex character. So. Let's try that. Let's play with guns. So there's the repeated attack thing we were t told about. Oh yeah, dice. That's a thing. Wow, holy cow. Okay. Uh, get some bombs. Just the one big explodey boy. Got a lot of range on this pistol, dude. Steady club. I've been expecting you, brave soul. Take this weapon and shall aid you on your journey. I'm going to sell it, but thank you. Thank you for the pawnable item. Yeah, this thing got ridiculous range, actually. Let's go for a charm, yeah. Nothing can stop me. I am the first boss. I'm immortal. Doesn't it get, like, some kind of benefit to continually hitting shots, too, or something like that? You make me angry. Do, 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 do. Some of these are doing tremendous damage. I think he's got like a massive crit damage multiplier too. What is it? I guess I can't see yet. Well, I probably can. I just don't know where it is in the character sheet. What do you got? Detective hat. Each point of intelligence adds 1% lucky hit chance. Eh. 10% increased melee damage. Makes a guaranteed golden chest reward appear on the choice of doors before the boss on each floor. Huh. That's okay. Oh, right. Oh, man. What does this button do? Oh, it's our dice bag. Cool. Neat. All right. Here we go. The dice bag was genius compared to having to hold each dice in your inventory. Yeah, that's right. That is a lot nicer, yeah. Okay, well, clearly, we're going to want an upgrade to our weapons soon. This thing is already kind of turned into a pea shooter. I think I remember why I didn't like the gunslinger. Slash didn't use him very often. Just kind of boring early. Hopefully we can fix that up, though. Happy Octashot Crossbow. Composite bow. 
Additional chance for the attacks to repeat. Slow arcane shuriken. Reduced Oh, it's a slow, yeah, reduced attack speed, okay. Let's grab the composite bow. Probably pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Small improvement. Alright. More decks, nice. Couple of keys, good stuff. He's just a very standard character, I guess. There's nothing really wrong with that, but... It was a little boring. Maybe I'm just having my, uh... Post-good run fatigue here as well. Having been so substantially nerfed. Another charm! Cool. Looks like you dug your way into trouble. Mole King. What the heck, really? Ah, damn it. I guess I did just let that hit me in the face, didn't I? Do, 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 do. Use my range advantage, dude. Banger. Catch me vibe into this in the club. This is pretty straightforward. Let's go. Defeat all World 2 Floor 2 bosses. That is the one I haven't seen, I suppose, isn't it? Unlucky hit, inflict fragility. Makes the target take 50% more damage over time and lasts four seconds. Huh. 10% increased magic find. Improves the odds of finding higher rarity items. Yeah. I like that. Seems pretty good. Moving on. More decks. Oh god, yeah. It's like every every time we get to a new floor, I'm instantly like, oh my god, I need a new weapon. It's too slow, dude. I do miss having my friends, too. My companions have been making a pretty big difference for me so far today. There you go, nice. Beautiful. Bird. Level up too. On well, tally of five primary attacks, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed critical hit. Best friends forever again. Your repeated attacks have double their crit hit multiplier. Ranged attacks gain 100% crushing hit chance at close range. Top end damage. Swagger seems pretty good. I don't want to re-roll these, though. Spinning blades are back. A non-triggered lucky hit trigger a chain lightning that deals a wildly variable amount of damage to the point where it might not even matter. Gain between 5 and 35% increased attack speed depending on the dexterity scaling of your equipped weapon. Yeah, dude. Go with that. Which apparently did not make a huge difference either. I think a plus 15% would have been a little more noteworthy than that. Yeah, gonna need a gonna need a weapon upgrade. God damn, they are hardly even bothered by those. Oh, come on. Finish it off. There you go. It's an investment. I agree. Yeah, I think we'll be able to find something that's going to take advantage. Like the Happy Gold Chakrams, for example. 
Or guns. Crappy match pistols. Ugh. Let's try this. That looks cool, at least. There you go, buddy. Four gold, I'll take it. And the club. Nice. Yeah, you can have my revolver. Cool. Need some bombs. Wow, okay, there we go. There's a little bit of an upgrade, huh? Magic weapon? I think I got enough money for a shop here, actually. There's the maid costume again. Tyler's robe. You'll a on a tune, we'll ask you a question and reward you for answering like Tyler would. On a tunes after asking a question. Well, obviously I have to see what that does. What the hell? It needs 10 rooms of attunement. And then I have to put myself into the mind of Tyler. That was my favorite Disney Channel original series. Well, this thing's range is a little limited, but clearly the DPS has gotten a big boost. I can smell your fear. Fresh meat is so hard to come by. No, all right then. This works for me. Yeah, if you just want to sit right there, that would be sick, dude. I'm gonna be a big fan of that. Looks like that's his plan. Ah, you've got some bite to you. Giving it the suck. I don't want to bomb him. Yeah, I'm going to bomb him. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Nice big chunk there. Oh, boy. Keep moving. Gorgeous. Great fight. Great fight. We got, we got some boots. We got some good boots. Plus one armor. Nice. 20% cursed hit chance. Increased damage dealt with lucky hits. Increased stamina recovery. Definitely down with the armor. Cool. Another victory, baby. Yeah, it's worth it. Holy cow. We have found the improvement that we needed. Significantly better now. Also gonna level up after this next dex, which is pretty sick. Oh shit, there we go. There we go, okay. I gotta lead my shot a little bit with a shock from, I guess. Your repeated attacks have double their crit hit multiplier is still pretty tempting. During combat, periodically trigger your on bomb effects and throw a grenade at the nearest enemy that explodes on impact. That seems great. I don't have any on bomb effects, but I like random grenades. That seems outstanding. Crunch. Okay, oh my god, wow. Nice. Another salad. They want me to uh, give up my strength, huh? I guess I will. Probably worth it. Jesus. 
That was sketchy. And a shop, not really enough money for that, but I'll try it. Golden cross pendant protects you from getting cursed. That's pretty cool. And it's poison damage. Ooh. I don't have a ring, do I? I do, but I have the uh, amethyst ring. Yeah. We can do that. Cool. And don't have enough money for the blacksmith. I don't really need it anyway. So this has gotten significantly better, hasn't it? Holy shit. Uh, I don't want a melee weapon. Do you like my weapon? Yikes, not the best weapon. You should really try to find something better. What's wrong with this? It's happy. Eh, I think I'm good here. Okay, okay, there he goes. Holy shit! Wow! That was pretty nice. Is that six bombs? Good lord. Back to vampire. And them poison stacks, baby. Hey. Let's take it easy. No rush here. No hurry. There we go. Gotta remember to leave that shot when I can. Looking pretty good. Oh boy. Close one. Oh, we got this. We got this. Let's go. Alright, this is starting to come together. Another legendary. Or, not legendary, but... Wait, legendary, right? Yeah. Or rare. Additional crit hit chance. Offhand to add lightning damage to bow and crossbow attacks. Hmm. That might be pretty good. I'm picking up a mana star. Three stars drop from the sky on the nearest enemy. Plus one flask. Hmm. Yeah, I like this. That seems really good. We got poison and lightning damage on the bow now. Just really hope that the attack speed holds up. Oh no, I don't know if it is, I actually should. Hold on, maybe... Oh, I didn't equip it, did I? Fuck. Oh, I did. Yeah, it's doing the lightning damage. I'm pretty sure the Chakram's gonna be way better, though. Tyler's Robe is asking you, if ghosts can walk through walls, why don't they fall through floors? Well, what, what does Tyler want me to say? I think Tyler wants an answer. But I also feel like he might get upset with me disagreeing with him. Who is Tyler? I have no clue. Tyler the Creator? Which... I think he'd want me to... to contend with his... choice here. They float. Correct answer! The robe is proud of you and grants you some of Tyler's riches. That's really good! Thanks, Tyler! Alright then. But now do we like... What does the equipment do at this point, I wonder? Flint bow. Fire damage. We could try that out. This now just... Oh, it's going to ask me another question at another 10 attunement. Okay, cool. Let's see how this fire bow does. 
It seems very good. That damage is outrageous, not to mention all, all the DOT we get from that now. Wow, cool. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. I'm happy with this weapon. Oh, they got fucking healers, dude. What the hell? That's new. Man, that damage over time is crazy. Gotta go event. Holy Water grants a Radiant Infusion buff. Cool. Okay. Let's upgrade this. We'll go ahead and repair our armor real fast. Wow, the damage got way better. Nice, dude. Okay. That is a lot of bombs. <laughs> Holy shit. I want to use some of these offensively. Yeah, we can get the stacks going on these guys. It's pretty impressive. I don't have a set of anything, do I? No. Need some gloves. Is this a joke? You dare to challenge me, the champion? Prepare to be trampled. The Jousting Champion. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. That's fun. He's basically dead already, though. You're tougher than you look. It's time to end this farce. Prepare for the final charge. Holy shit. That was pretty lucky. This is a uh, little intense. Okay, got another off-screen attack. Those are always fun. Okay. Ah, yeah. I don't, I don't like this kind of stuff. He's like literally like not even targetable. Not my favorite. I might want to try the chakrams again here. I don't think the flint bow is actually my best bet. I think with just the sheer amount of chakrams that we were firing is probably a bit of an upgrade over this. Is my armor situation right? Yeah, we're still rocking Tyler's. Grants holy aura that inflicts judgment and debuffs enemies to take radiant damage from you and your companions. Plus one armor, plus one heart. It's 50 equip load, though. Holy shit. That made me encumbered. A non-triggered lucky hit throw a syringe at the target, dealing thrusting damage and inflicting either vulnerability, fra fragility, or instability. I would replace the cowboy hat. That's pretty good. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the shock room as well. I'm pretty sure that's the better play here. More money! Oh, yeah. That's where the deeps are at. I think you do, actually, Jake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get a higher equip load with more strength. Not 100% on that, but it would make sense. Cool. What's your lucky hit chance without the cowboy hat? Is it zero? It might be, uh... Lucky hit chance... Where is it? There it is. Oh, it is zero shit. Man. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not doing anything, is it? That was a waste. That was dumb. Oh, well. Not the first. Yeah, not the first dumb decision I've made today. It's certainly not going to be the last. Started off 
pretty dumb today, just completely disregarding the uh, upgrade system as well. All right, well, here. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll pretend that my reward for that combat was gold. That makes me feel slightly better about it. There's a little bit more inventory space. Cool. Probably don't need more bombs. I think we're okay on that. Swapness. Okay, for now and then, too, I guess. Tyler's robe is asking you, who, who holds more power? Oh, obviously the queen. Let me have to think about that one, dude. Three random rewards. One key, one key, one bomb. Even more bombs. We have 25 bombs. And some wine. That's a lot of bombs. Banshee Tome, Firestorm Scroll, Icicle Tome. No thanks. I'll go upgrade my weapons. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Cool, all right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be sticking with the chakrams for the most part now. I guess I could do this too. Cool. Greetings. Are you here to learn ancient combat techniques? Absolutely. I shall teach you one lesson, but one lesson only. You must decide on which lesson I shall teach you. Lesson of true precision. Follow my moves. Ready up. Right, down, down, down. Up, left, down, left. Up, left, down, left. I like the constant reinforcement. Right, down, left, right, up. Right, down, left, right, up. I win! That was an exceptional performance. It seems you've mastered my technique. Mastering the lesson of true precision permanently grants you plus 10% crit hit chance. Cool! That's pretty sick. I think I like my armor right now. Let's get a companion. I am the sentinel of wisdom and knowledge. You're not worthy of the library's secrets. Library guardian. Oh, God. What the hell? I'm not paying close enough attention to that. There we go. I've tolerated your disrespect long enough. This sacred place will be your grave. Buried beneath the sands of time. Ow, what the fuck? How did he just... You gotta sit still to do that. Okay, that's big. You just spawned on me there, man. There we go. Good stuff. Defeat all the world two floor six bosses. Neat. Ooh, what do you got? Legendary Thunderbird. Each Thunderbird grants 100% increased top-end lightning damage. I don't even gotta look at the other stuff for that one. Dude. Hell yeah. Thunderbird! Nice. More decks. Thunderbird, ho! That's just gonna make the people that are mad about Thundercats lack of representation in the cartoon themes bracket even matter. Grants harmony while you have dealt at least three kinds of elemental damage in the past four seconds. We're gonna be doing that, right? 50% increased attack speed. Holy shit, dude. Poison, lightning, and burn with the flint bow. Yeah. Oh, man. That's cool. I don't really need any more keys right now. Way more attack speed now. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I like that a lot. 
Another pair, good stuff. Just keep firing, dude. Looking much better. Let's get some potions. Another pair of what? Another pair of pears? What the fuck, dude? What was that? You're not allowed to cover the entire screen with projectiles. That seems unfair. Okay. Holy shit, we gotta keep some distance yet. Yeah, he's doing it again. Why is all this happening at the same time? A coordinated effort. Holy Christ. Alright, let's see. We can enchant this, but it is... Oh, it's not enchanted. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any money. Ah, shit. Can't sell anything to anybody, right? Um... Yeah, I guess that's it. Let's go get the golden chest. Can I heal? Nope. I'm so poor. I almost want to just use my flask now. Just to be safe. I want the value, damn it. Dude, Thunderbird's kind of dope. That's not what I need. I guess I appreciate having 30 of them now, but... Kind of hoping for something else in that situation. All right, this is terrible. I gotta use the flask here. I don't want to do it while they're alive, though. There we go. Oh, it's only one HP restored? I didn't realize that. Easily my new favorite boss. Immediately. Well, well, what do we have here? A land number in my territory? Prepare for FC, mate. I was really hoping it would be Admiral Walrus, but Commander Walrus is pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, this is... the, the greatest boss ever made. I think it's safe to say. All right, matey. I'm gonna call in the big guns. He's got seagulls? Oh, shit. He's got seagull buddies. Okay, we got him. We got him. I like him. I feel bad for shattering him into pieces. Oh, God. Non-triggered lucky hit again. Armor. Recover a heart whenever you repair armor. Fully repairs armor on entering a floor with the paladin shield. Ugly Christmas sweater. Periodically intimidates all enemies in the room every eight seconds. Yeah, I like Tyler's. Let's see. We're going to... Just drink the wine, I guess? Yeah. That's pretty good. Cool. Now we go. Back to floor seven, baby. Oh, Jesus. I did not react to that quickly enough. Tyler's robe is asking you, which is the objectively superior pet? That'd be the dog. Yeah. Me and Tyler are of, uh, one mind. Clearly. Hmm. Well, keeps giving me this, so let's do it. I think this is still a thing, right? The doubling effect is from the character, not from anything else, I think. Oh, it's on Lucky Hit, though, which I don't have any chance for anymore. So let's not do that. Yeah, that's not going to work. Explosion damage from you and your companions inflicts instability and armor break. Uh, additional crit hit multiplier at clo clo close range, and after standing still for 0.5 seconds, mark the healthiest enemy in the room with Hunter's Mark. Repeats every two seconds while standing still. I like unstable explosives. I think instability is going to be really good here. Cool.
Oh my god. Oh my god, yep. That didn't go well. Uh, box me in there. Ooh. Sniper Quiver. While standing still, gain 25% crit hit chance with bow and crossbow attacks. Not going to be better than a Thunderstrike, sadly. Definitely taking a petrified armor here. Jesus, dude. Hey, fucking hell. Nice. There we go. I'm three armors outstanding. Just really want to try to find a blacksmith now. Oh my god, I could not move. God damn, man. They up the difficulty, it feels like. Like across the board. Those guys are super tanky too, I guess. Holy shit, really? Please heal me. Please heal me somehow. Armored Quiver. On dash, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed crit. Whoa. That's cool. Although that would get rid of my poison damage. And, oh, hey. Hooray. Perfect. Thank God. And then... We've already upgraded both of these. We'll get some gold, I think, yeah. Oh, I hate being boxed into the corner like that. Jesus. I am doing it to myself, admittedly. Um. Oh, the set item. I did not get the other set item, did I? I did. I got the paladin helmet. This could be the other paladin thing. I'm going to go for it. There is a basement door as well. That was a much easier room. Nice. Crater armor. Grants 30% increased damage dealt at close range. Uh, that's gonna encumber me. I don't think I want that. Can't open this basement door either, sadly. I don't think I should go to the blood chest either. This is bad, but I guess I don't have to open it, but I might as well get the bombs. I gotta start using the bombs more often, too, and also stop taking damage, damn it! God damn it, bear. Another set item. Let's go for it. Ooh. <laughs> Just straight up Ornstein and Smog. Okay. So small indeed, but let's not underestimate this ant. Yuck, I want to crush it. Any last words, intruder? The King's Guard. If you say so. Big boy is real weak. Fool, too feeble for your own hammer sway. May your demise hold more purpose than your pitiful existence. It's rude. Some friend, huh? Just dodge there. Kind of shooting in this general area, I guess. He's a bouncy boy. What the fuck? Nice. Not too bad, man. Ah, that's the other piece of my set, isn't it? Oh, no. Not at all. Aegis. Self repairs armor on completing an encounter room. Holy shit. Oh man, that's gonna have to do it. Yeah, that's gonna have to be the replacement, I think, man. That is crazy. Oh. I didn't realize I had that. Okay. Um Yeah, gotta take that, dude. Gloves though. Land oh hold on. Oh, it's only for throwing and dagger weapons. Ugh. Hmm. 
Repair armor also returns a heart. Oh, right. Yeah, because of this. Ooh, that's a crazy synergy. Nice. I think I gotta go with that, dude. I know the harmony thing is unfortunate, though. Oh, chakrams are a thrown weapon. Oh. Okay. That would get rid of harmony again, though, is the thing. I gotta keep using the flint bow if I want harmony. I think it might actually be raincoat. Grants drizzle whenever you make it rain. This deals cold damage, too. Hmm. The cloud continuously triggers your on make it rain effects. Grants an angry cloud companion on a two set. This is the only one that doesn't encumber me as well. I'll give it a go. I'll say goodbye to Tyler's robe. Cool. Okay. We'll do it. Eh, yeah, sure. Cursed, petrified horde. I really was connecting with Tyler, I know, yeah, I feel kind of bad for... For saying goodbye to him. We're vibing, dude. Hey, Baka, welcome. All right, a little bit of cash. A little bit more cash. Oh, oh, God, wow. Oh, Jesus. There we go. We're dealing cold damage now, too, right? With the, uh... With the raincoat, I think? So we have, like, all of the damage over time? Which is pretty sick. Don't love these pillars. They're gonna be a bit of a problem, I think. Oh, it's a two-set bonus. Okay, so we gotta find it. Well, I mean, it's a little late maybe to be looking for a set, but maybe we'll get lucky. Jesus, dude. There we go. Thank you. Random pot. Probably not a bad idea. I don't really have anything to sell, right? Yeah. Those guys are tanky too, huh? These rooms aren't terrible, actually. These ones feel a little bit more uh, manageable. Goodbye, cowboy head. Ah, uh, let's do a shrine, yeah. That's true, can't I? Yeah, I could probably go ahead and go for the charcoal pine. Why not? That will help quite a bit. These creatures are wild looking. I like them a lot. Random consumable blessing. Attunes all your equipped items that don't have on a tune effects. What's... Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I might as well just do that. Oh, that literally doesn't do anything. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that actually is going to matter for me right now. And I was right. Yeah, definitely target those guys early, I think. Holy shit, dude. What the hell? Oh, my goodness. You got to get rid of these shrines, man. They are a pain in the butt. All right, yet another charcoal pine, so. Might as well just replace it, I guess. I got a decent amount of money. Increase periodical rate. What is that? There's another thing that does it. What the? Oh, these are, these cost souls. Dash taunt nearest enemy. 
Grand Stamina. That's pretty good, actually. That's probably better than this. Sorry, Raincoat. Why did I take this? That was dumb. I should have got the Aegis. I'm a doofus. Um, I think I keep the armor. Let's get the dex, yeah. It's one to two random trait tomes. Yeah, we'll get the dex. Your stated reason was that the shield would have encumbered you. Ah, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that's a thing. And that was, I suppose, a decent enough justification. Cool. Damage seems pretty good now. I just can't. Oh boy, what is the what is that little explosion effect? Is that my grenade? That is my grenade, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh boy, I need a repair. Badly. Bear needs repair. Nice. Okay. Cool. Still alive. I want a companion. Offhand's already good. I agree, Pont. Oh, this... Yeah, that's the ultimate version of those things we've been seeing, huh? Pain, rage, pain, revenge! Go away! Ooh, another banger. Oh, that was bad. Why did I let that get me? Jesus! Why are these attack patterns so hard for me to dodge? You die! Alright, here we go. This is something I should probably kill as well. Am I just safe on the edge here? to risk it. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, holy. Wishing I had that Aegis, huh? I am in trouble. Maybe they'll give it to me again. So here, you forgot this. Someone's a dire wolf. A leech. Each leech grants 10% increased damage dealt to health. Dire wolves grant 20% increased damage. Or snails. Oh, that's fun. Um. Yeah. Get the inferno here. Cool. Hey, buddy. Wolf pal. That's neat. All right. More decks. Oh, I really hope I can stay alive. I feel like I should just use stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Here we go. Oh, I can only have either Thunderbird or Direwolf? What? That sucks. Oh, well. All right. Gotta get the skull. I just dodged death right there. That absolutely should have killed me. Oh my god. That's one. That's a level up, too. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Intuition. On completing a combat encounter room without taking damage, gain a stack of raised morale. I mean, that's certainly good here. That is gonna be how we have to do it, after all. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I have stamina surge right now, too, so I gotta be dodging like crazy. Nice. Refills one flask. Yes. Yes, please. Oh my god, dude. 
fucking hell. No, I dashed. I dashed. I dashed. I disagree. I hit the space bar the moment that projectile hit my face. I don't think that's what happened. And I'm going to go ahead and request a redo, actually. If they could go ahead and re-roll re that to represent what actually happened, that would be that would be terrific. Let's do one more. I'll do chaos. Fine, let's do it. I'll give it a try. Toasty! Two months for every theme song we're gonna rank today. Let's go. Toasty with the Nintendo 64. Months back on the pile. Thank you for the bear hugs for Toasty. Welcome back in. So we got ourselves a Crusader Mace. Bandit Armor. And the Amethyst Ring with increased magic fine. That's pretty cool. Go. Whoa! Three intelligence, okay. Might as well. Thank you. Uh don't have any money, so go for the souls, I guess. Good old fashioned early rooms, dude. What's that little uh What is this? A little symbol. Let's get an offhand. Time to feast! Oh, boop, 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 boop. Maybe one of the easier 4 1 fights. Oh, I knew I was gonna take a hit having said that, though. Oh no, you're webbed! That's... that's a little much for that. <laughs> Malf! Malf Raiders, welcome! welcome. Mars the Stone! Give him some bear hugs, please. Bear hugs for all the Raiders, welcome everybody. We doing some lucky today, Malf? How'd it go? Hold damage on bow and crossbow attacks. Flame orbital. 30% increased damage dealt with lucky hits. I like a flame orbital. That seems pretty good. Cool. 757. Ooh, man. That's a good run, dude. He's going to get there. We've been enjoying the new Tiny Rogues update here. The Between Heaven and Hell. I'll get strength, I guess, yeah. There's a heck of a lot of new content in the game if you haven't played in a bit. Highly recommend checking it out. Including this new character, Chaos, that I'm using for the first time here. I think that might be bombable thing here. No, I think that's just a minecart track. Well, this is cute. A little switch down here. Pull the lever. Oh, cool. Nice. What's that? Dwarven war fans. Plus one to all scalings. Can hit multiple times, reduces global tally threshold requirements. Again, not really sure what that does. It's all dwarven. Huh. This bleeds. Fears on hit. I like these. These seem like fun. Cool. Let's do it. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm impressed. Eh, I got enough for the tavern, maybe. Zero doubters. God damn, let's go. You like my weapon, buddy? Love you. Have a good day. He's got faith. Love to see it. 
upgrade the war fans right away and go get some uh, strength, I guess? Yeah. That'll do. Hell yeah. Let's see. A tally of four attacks with a magic weapon. It would say if it was a magic weapon, right? I don't think that is. Your crit hit chance is zero, but you gain 100% crushing hit chance. Top end damage. I kind of like that. Yeah. Critical hits with melee and ranged attacks trigger the attack of a non-channeling magic weapon in your first inventory slot. That's cool. I'm gonna go with that, though. And let's get some gloves. Sure. Noisy brat. Oh boy, that was lucky. Thank you, Evade. I remember he does those little blocky projectiles like that. This is a weapon that is not perfectly suited for this. That was really lucky. There we go, nice. That went pretty well. Another rare. Oh, it's the Frost Touch Gauntlets again. We don't have melee this time. Oh, we do. Makes the rewards offered after defeating the boss offer plus one choice. That's cool. Definitely the gloves here, though. Sweet. Yeah, I think I like the pillars dropping down. I'm a fan of that. It changed my opinion. Which is allowed. I think. I'm happy with my weapon, but I guess this is a freebie versus having to use as a key on something. 25% not very effective multiplier. What? Oh! Hey, bear. Yeah. <laughs> he really just said, hey, bear. What the fuck? Hi, Apollo. Hold on. One sec. Yeah, let me get this for you. Copy text. Send that to Crendor. Pixel's got our assistant coach. Sorry, folks. I gotta do the football show. Um, do, 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 do. Come on, save it. There we go. I'm thinking about getting this sword, too, actually. But... Probably... Stick with those fans. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to miss the show today, too, unfortunately. If you're still here, Apollo. Because I do have another segment planned after this. I totally forgot it was Tuesday, actually. I got thrown off by Christmas. Um, now we'll go this way. Our damage is really nice now. Agility pot, cool. Banger yet again. The bracket can always wait. I would agree with you were it not for the fact that my sister is coming over to participate. Although I guess I could just tell her we're doing it tomorrow too. Yeah, maybe I should. I feel bad though, because I've hyped it up, but maybe that'll just make the... the anticipation will just build even further. Oh, but she's not... Yeah, we gotta do it today, because she has to go back to work tomorrow. Yeah, it's gotta be today. Sorry, football show. 
I'll, I'll gloat about making the fantasy finals next week when I've won the fantasy finals and I'm, I'm, I'm the final or I'm the fantasy champ. Accessory? Yes. Ex yesery. What's a bracket precious? If you use the exclamation point fiends command in chat, I believe is what it is. It'll point you to Pond Jugular's what I've called a collection of cartoon cacophonies. AKA uh, theme songs. For over 80 cartoons. And we're gonna debate which of them is best. I'm very excited about it. Oh, wow, Defy Death. That's pretty good. During combat, randomly or periodically strikes a random enemy with a beam of light every four seconds. That's really good, too. Guaranteed gold reward appear on the first choice of doors on each floor. 20% increased damage dealt to health. That says, it says bear claw necklace. I have to take that one because it says bear claw necklace. I hope you understand. My work gave us this whole week off. I've always been of the opinion that all non-essential jobs should have this entire week off because it's like, I feel like we've all agreed as a species that this is the week in which nothing gets done. The week between Christmas and New Year's. Like it might as well not even register as an opportunity to do anything productive. Why not get paid for the week too though? I mean, yeah, sure. You deserve it. More decks, please, yeah. This thing does scale up decks, doesn't it? I need to get a little more of that. Yeah. Gold chest. Wow, that was easy. Cool. I got a bunch of money now. Hey, dude. Are you interested in trade? Crystal Greaves. On triggering a crystal effect, gain crystal surge that increases primary attack damage. Shoot five homing crystal projectiles that each deal 149 to 238 thrusting damage. Wow, I don't even have boots, do I? Oh my god. On taking damage, Trigger seven crystal projectiles, each dealing tons of damage. Wow. Crystal projectiles inflict vulnerability. I think I'm a crystal boy now. Oh no! That's the one I wanted most. Oh, I guess I can't wear both though, can I? Yeah, I have to choose. That's pretty good though. Cool. I don't have any money for that anymore. I gotta tune those guys as well before we get the crystal effects. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that is fun. I have a key here, which we'll more than likely just use on that basement door. Cool. Nice. Mana star? Now we'll go with the event. Odd place for strangers to meet, isn't it? What brings you down here? Call me crazy, but you look a bit lost. I think I can help you. Want a little boost? Take this. Raise your level by one and permanently grants plus five intelligence. Holy shit. Hell yeah, dude. That's a big boost. Ah, yeah, alacrity would be huge here uh, already. 1% increased effective debuffs per point of equip load on you. With a tally of four primary attack, and let's do alacrity. Alacrity's pretty great. We've got our gloves already, let's get a companion. You don't belong here. 
anybody doesn't belong anywhere, it's, it's, it's you here. You, you don't belong, you're, you're the one. Uno reverse card. Oh boy, oh boy, God. God, thank you. Got, got his ass, huh? Yeah. You tell him, Bear. Another rare, another rare. Electric Eel Companion. Grants increased effect of shock. Each zombie grants increased damage to bosses. Nice. Yeah, we'll do that. Zombo! Hey, buddy. That's fun. Okay. Don't have any set items yet, right? Yeah, we got all the crystal stuff. Get some money. Oh, God. Get him, buddy. Get him, Zombo. Oh, is this an evade? Has that been recharging? Maybe yeah, that's what that is. Oh my goodness. That is substantial damage. I'm liking these crystals too, man. Hell yeah. Little sneaky thing. Plus three intelligence, why not? Give a balanced frickin' build here, dude. That was a silly hit. Oh boy. And yeah, the range is obviously pitiful, but once we uh, actually get in there, it is impressive. You can summon two zombies. Oh, shit. Cool. You sure can. Look at that. And we leveled up. There's the war cry again. Grants you an aura that inflicts shock and debuffs enemies to take lightning damage from you and your companions. Or, on kill and combat start, spawn a mana star somewhat far away from you. More intelligence, nice. That is a massive aura. That is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. That's pretty cool. That ought to help quite a bit. <laughs> nice. Sure. Another charm? Yeah. Do I have boots? I think I have boots. Yeah, I have boots. I have the crystal boots with the dash. This is a fight made for me here, I think. You truly are a burden to this world. Oh yeah, the chakrams go wild here. Did take the hit, sadly. I think I lost a soul heart, actually. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Hey, I guy. Yeah, there's a bunch of new bosses in the game now. It's pretty great. Grants five to a thousand lightning damage to melee weapons. What the fuck, dude? All right. Well, I'm encumbered here, so I guess we'll see how this goes. Uh, penalties are listed in the character panel. Less damage, less crit chance, less movement speed, less stamina recovery, less mana regeneration. That seems fine. I am a little slower, but... Yeah, we'll see how bad it is, I guess. I can always unequip something if I feel like I need to. Ooh, fun. Some cake. I can use some cake. Well, the damage seems good. 
Good lord. That is, uh... Like night and day. What the hell? All of a sudden, the build is much better. Oh god, don't die though. Come on. Don't waste the revive again, buddy. Careful. Let the zombos do some work. Oh boy. These guys are difficult for me to get. There we go. Uh, let's re or let's yeah go ahead and use a flask here. I think I'm gonna go to the pawn shop. Yeah, I don't need the bear claw necklace anymore. Or the banded armor or the amethyst ring. And a shop. Thank you. And a blacksmith. Perfect. Ooh, two soul hearts. Well, that was ideal, dude. Cool. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ooh. There we go, and bomb that. Oh my god, I nearly bombed myself. There we go. Uh, blood chest. That is a mimic. How convenient. Increase mana regen. Grants plus one to cold weapon upgrade. Uh. Okay. quite the loot I wanted. I'll see what the magic weapon is, though. Later on, Camaro. Holy crap! What? Bye. Yeah, I thought the damage had improved a little, man. Wow. Looking good. Ooh, these look fun. Crappy Railgun, Ballista Construction Manual. Spawns up to two ballistas. That's weird. Disenchanting Fractal Glaive. Periodically triggers beams that deal magic damage while stationary. Huh. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with what I got. I'm curious, though. That's cool. <laughs> I kind of want to try it. Just fill the room with beams. All right. <laughs> Guess this is what we're doing now. Dude, what the fuck? There we go. Kite shield, one block and two armor. Wow. Yep. Much better. Gonna get that attunement real quick, though. Oh, God, that's serious over-encumbrance, though. Yeah, I should have figured. Okay, hmm. I think I could take off this. And then we can at least, like, move around semi-normally. Yeah, it would be really nice to get a melee weapon back, but this is working pretty damn well already, isn't it? Like, really well? This is nuts. Hey, cool. Companions gain 25% increased attack speed per aura you have. Grants you an aura that inflicts burn and deep. Oh. Yeah. Double aura. Okay. And a resin. This is uh, outrageously good. I guess I don't need to wear this anymore, do I? Not right now, anyway. Which means I can put the crystal armor back on and then not be too bad. Ah, it's still pretty uncovered. 
Yeah, the helm's not really doing much. Do, do, do. All the stats. Um, consumables? I have to dump some stuff. Yeah. Worth it. Get him. Get him. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm going to have to drop this. And this. There we go. Hooray. Ooh, nice. Another experience point. Cool. Yeah, I thought it might have affected the damage too, but I don't know why it would. It shouldn't be, right? The helm only affects melee weapons. This is a ranged weapon. I don't know why. I guess it's not that big of a deal. I have the equip load for it now too, so... All right, that works. Let's see if I can find a magic uh, melee weapon here. Merry Christmas to you as well as moral. Okay. Yeah, let's just try this. Let me get the dodge there. All right. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Thanks, dragon bonus, except I don't have that anymore, right? But we can pretend. Ooh. Disenchanting rainbow staff. S scaling across the board. Oh, that's fun. No kite shield anymore. But I got to try that out, dude. I got to give that a go. That sounds like fun. A renewal. Welcome back. Death stack. Let them feel the love with some bear hugs, please, y'all. Thank you very much for the resubscription. Welcome back. 32 months. Fish and chips. Okay, I am like 99% sure that this is worse. So I am going to go ahead and go back to the uh, the other weapon in a second here. Yeah, this is definitely worse. Fun to try, though. Yeah, this is just melting rooms immediately. Grants Endeavor Blessing on Consumption. Cool. Melee weapon. This one looks so pretty. How can you abandon it? I mean, that is basically the argument for it, yeah. Quick Flame Spear. I'll try it. I'm just going to dump this. Thought it'd be a little better. Soul Hearts. Ah, oh, this is clearly worse, too. Yeah, crap. Got to get back to the... Uh... There we go. Yeah, this thing is just lighting it up right now. And we keep the kite shield with it, so yeah, that absolutely seems like the way to go. What do you do again? Oh, yeah, souls for golds. Um, oh, I could get this. But that is not a gun or a cannon, so never mind. Is it? No. Let's get some rum. Or wine, yeah. No, rum. And then we're going to go ahead and drop this fire spear as well, I think. Cool. Oh, we need to upgrade this too, huh? Let me in, I'm cold. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hang on, my sister's here. BRB. Door's not open. We gotta. 
we gotta speed through this, and thankfully I think we've got a build well suited for it. Uh, let's go. And one more. Let's see if we can get some pots for the end game here too. So we just go to the center of the room, cast an infinity spell, and GG. Uh, let's just do that and that and then uh, this one, sure. Although stamina surge is absolutely worth keeping around for the later stages. I just realized immediately after using it. Trigger a lightning effect. Grants increased fire damage. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> Elemental balance. Ooh, brawler. Plus 10 power per actor in the room. What the hell? That's weird. I like elemental balance, though. That sounds like fun. Legendary. Let's go. Hey, same to you, geek. This is nuts. <laughs> this is completely ridiculous. But I really like it. I, mean, I needed this build to wrap up the day here, dude. This is a this is a nice morale boost. And that's gonna be an accessory. 100% increased stats granted by charms. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Um, uncommon helmet, nah. I guess clown suit? I doubt I'm ever gonna use that. I could get this and sell it at a pawn shop. I don't know. I don't, I don't think we really... I don't even want to take any of this, dude. Um, yeah, let's just go. That's fine. I'm around. Bear hugs for him, please. Welcome back. Three years. Thank you for the prime. All right. We are zipping through. Contains legendary weapons. Okay, hold on a sec. Happy the Calamities. Inflict a stack of doom. Is there any melee in here? Melee mace. God awful mule. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this has the lightning too. Oh my god. That's kind of tempting. Yeah, happy calamity to you too. Exactly. <sighs> Bible magic. My favorite kind. During combat, periodically hacks a nearby an enemy, inflicting virus, dealing 20,000 damage every four seconds? What? Is that even real? I gotta, I gotta try that, I feel like. That seems pretty good. I think I'm gonna try the weapon that deals 20,000 damage. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, everything's dying again, unsurprisingly. Although I am still convinced that this is better. Like, this thing is unbeatable right now. Just completely fills the room. No chance of survival. Here, let's go ahead and pop a bunch of pots and get some new ones. Cool. Just go boom, boom, boom. And another blood chest, easy peasy. Wait, didn't this say blood chest? Oh, yeah, there we go. Duh. Plus three decks, yo, nice. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough money. I'm zipping on through, dude. Dragon Slayer's auto crossbows. That's kind of neat. Uh, more pots. Why not? Uh huh. It's our last key. I don't even know what the effects are at this point. It just got everything. More decks. Another level up. Here we go. Yes, I, I think this one's going to be uh, going the distance here. On dash, mark the nearest enemy with a settings mark. 
That's 50% to minimum damage roll. Well, we don't really have to worry about that, do we, since we have the, uh, the maximum damage, I think, on this run. 100% increased stats from intelligence. I guess we're taking that. And the charm. Let's do it. Hi, King Ooze. Bye, King Ooze. Oh, you're back? No, you're dead. You're dead. Bye-bye. Hooray! I'm the world's greatest gamer. Legendary charm. Grants plus one to weapon upgrade level. That's cool. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, that's better. Now we can just dump that. Nice. All right, dude, here we go. A hundred bear bucks on doubt. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be doubting on this one. Although it is likely that this is going to get to a place that I've never seen before, I guess. So possibly there's a reason to. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, we need to just go ahead and pop that pot there nice and then... Taffy girl, what are you doing? Who's here? Who's here, huh? Oops. Is that Sydney? Sweet name. Let's put the focus. Let me see little taps. <laughs> that's, that's her whole deal. Oh, there we go. Come here. Right, she said hello. Back to Tommy Cam. He's a sweetheart. I uh, might as well have a key, I guess. Oh, uh, you think you got beams? I got beams, bud. Perfect. What is this, though? Fills a flask. I don't really need that. Random enchantment? I don't really need that. Um, I can use the armor, I guess. Let's go that way. Thank you. And get in here. It's so satisfying just to hear everything pop instantly. This is the laser revenge after the previous run. Absolutely, yeah, we had this coming. Uh, might as well get the heart. Yeah, that seems good. Might as well have more HP, right? And for everything that we're... Sure, everything that we should be getting hit from, I just keep dodging. Yeah, why not? This is wild. Uh, random pot, sure. Bye-bye. Uh, yep, there you go. One final rest. Tune equipped items. Totally. All right, here we go. Might as well, well, I don't know actually if I should. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pop all our consumables here. In the end, all mortals bow to death. Here we go. All right, so death is dead. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, we win. GG. Hitless death fight, maybe? Yep, totally. Holy shit. That's crazy. What a ridiculous build. Ooh. Fancy. Giant Slayer. 100% lethal hit chance against bosses. That's cool. Yeah. I'll give that a shot. Out of curiosity. Ah, oh, no. Never mind. Instantly. Don't want to do that. Hooray! Okay, now we get to see what's beyond this, I guess. Because this used to just be the end. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. The bowl is empty. This grate seems locked for good. What could warrant such heavy reinforcement? The shadow planes. Sorry, almost done.
Increased attack speed, nice. All right. Wither, a stackable status effect that reduces movement speed by 1% per stack. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Oopsie. This is the first time I have ever seen this place. Critical hit multiplier, the golden broccoli. Nice. Put the random resin here as well. I'm liking the song. Another banger, dude. Bear dance. I'm gonna fly. Plus one to highest attribute. Yes. Another crit hit multiplier. All the goodies. Random pot. This is a banger, oh my god. We are absolutely wiping the floor with everything still. One last final rest. All right, here we go. I've been awaiting you, mortal. I've felt your presence inching ever closer. I am Geryon, Draconic Lich, pure purveyor of souls and high magistrate of death. Your mere heartbeat is an anomaly in this realm of silence. Why have you come? Many have tried to conquer the shadows, only to become one with them. Do you think you're any different? Death's embrace is inevitable, and this time I am its harbinger. Your journey ends here, in this void of the world! Here we go. Where'd you go, bud? There he is. You like my beam attack? I think it's pretty cool. There we go. Your defiance is but a brief spark of light in an endless sea of darkness. You will become a mere whisper forever lost in eternal silence. The shadows grow dense and the chill more profound. I feel my power surge. You're in this non stop resisting. That's what I'm saying, actually, is the no, I think, I think you're at, you're, you're dead. Bye. Good God. That was not an accurate representation of the difficulty of that fight, I have to assume. Neat, dude. Sea urchin orb, sure. Sounds like fun. Only a truly lawful being can continue onward. Where does the allegiance of your soul lie, mortal? The scale of death will be the judge of it. Unworthy, you may not proceed. Re requires a pure lawful alignment. Okay. Well, I am, I'm just straight up neutral, so. Okay. Guess I'll die. Now we know that for next time, apparently. Maybe that's what the threshold thing is that they're talking about. All right, we did it, got the W. Good times here in Tiny Rogues. Thanks for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube.com slash BearTaffy as well, please leave a like on the video. Appreciate that a lot. And I will be back with more Tiny Rogues very soon because this game's fun and I like it. And I'll see you then.